Eh. Eh. What are you doing here? All right then. All right, here. Natsuki raises her hand to her face and forcibly slaps her own cheek. Wait. Okay, better. What? Why do I do this even? I know how uncertain everything feels to you right now. But I really do think that good things are in store. Those are my honest feelings. Thanks. It feels nice to be reassured. Finally. Yes. Okay, everyone. I'm gonna be taking a break from the usual activities today. I was thinking since people are starting to talk about the festival, it's a good time for us to go over the general direction of the club and all that. I think it'll help us figure out what to do for the festival, you know? Oh, Sayori and I already came up with a really good plan. Really? For the festival? Yeah, I saw the plan. It's this, okay? You and Yuri collect information ahead of time on which clubs and classes are doing food booths. Then we take a map and plan the most efficient route so we can get the most of them before the lines get too long. Hey, that has nothing to do with this club. With the club. Well, you have to let me finish. All right, fine, go ahead. Right, so basically we get all the food we can, then we come back here and we all eat together. That's all. Wow, I got tricked twice by the same old joke. <laughs> yeah, basically. Boo, don't be a hater. It's not like you can get up with anything better. Look, even Yuri was thinking about it. N no, I wasn't. I would really, really prefer to do something literature related. We can eat together anytime. The festival is a unique opportunity. Besides, it's been quite a while since we've seen any new interest in the club. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. We really get a shot at showing people what the literature club is all about. Also, I have a question here. Why is it... Why is it... Literal Club is uppercased always, sometimes. Is it like literally the name? But because I'm confused. I'll tell you what. We can do both, right? We'll make time for your food mission and still put together a public event. Oh my gosh, yes. I was just joking, but that's a really good idea. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's settled. I think the question is how to come up with an event that demonstrates everyf everything you can get out of the literature club. Well, that's kind of tough because everyone gets something different out of the club. Okay, how about this? Let's go around and have each other of us talk about what we've gotten out of the club so far. That could really help us figure out what kind of reputation we want to build. Yeah, that's too embarrassing. Ah, but you have to... But you'd have so much to talk about. That's exactly why. I'm sure Natsuki feels the same way. Well, maybe, but I didn't plan on arguing, arguing against it or anything. I mean, it's the literature club. We talk about that stuff together, right? And the only way to get more comfortable with it is to suck it up and do it. Oh, you're not wrong. I'm sorry for being resistant. It's not good to say suck it up, because it sounds like their feelings don't matter. Right, my bad. It's just a habit I need to break. Well, anyway, who's gonna start? I'll start. It was the f I was the first to try off, though. <laughs> Wouldn't that be me? No, I wanna go first. Fine, fine. You can start, I don't mind. Yay! So, gosh, it feels like so long ago. I think I joined because I wanted to have fun sharing poems with people. It seems like it would be a safe way to express myself, you know? Like, if it's just a poem, then I can share it without feeling like I'm burying everyone with my problems. And I thought it would be a really good way to get to know other people too. So yeah, I was really surprised when I walked in and it was just Monica. Just Monica. And she was sleeping. Oh. <laughs> Don't remind me of that. Oh gosh. Yeah, but it seemed like so much fun to help start a new club. Help me so okay, especially since writing helped me so much. I wanted to see if it helped other people too. 
but it ended up being me who was inspired. Cause I remember feeling like Monica was just so sweet and mature and that I could trust her with anything. It made me feel a lot less alone, having someone who knew even the bad things about me. And at that point I knew the literature club was gonna be special for a lot of people. Yeah, I felt the same way. It really helped give the club a more cohesive vision. Yeah, and then Yuri joined, but she was so different from us, and that's good too. I think for Yuri it really helped for me to take the lead before she was able to open up a little. But Natsuki was kind of the opposite, where she wasn't ready to get really close to someone really quickly. And I already thought about that sort of thing. I really feel like I've gotten better at understanding people's different needs. And that makes me really happy, because my friends are just the most important thing to me. And whatever new members we get, I want to help them in those ways too. I don't know if I would have continued coming to the club if it weren't for you. Really? Mm -hmm. I know it wasn't too long ago, but it hurts to think about my behavior back then. I was really short-sighted. The only reason I came was to find others who were into fantasy. I suppose that was my idea of making friends with people. And I remember feeling uncomfortable because you and I have such different energy. I had such a specific idea of the kind of be person I could be friends with. So when Sayori tried to hard, so hard to get to know me, I felt like I was just wasting her time. I think I was naive to assume that similar interests were the key component of friendship. Sayori and I were able to be friends because she always thinks about the needs of other people. That's something I never knew about how to do or even thought to do. I stayed in the club thanks to that, and I started trying as hard as I could to understand people better. You really went all above and beyond when it came to that. I was just super impressed. Well, I always hated that. I didn't know how to behave like a person who is easily liked by others, like the two of you can. And because of that I spent so much time thinking about my own behavior and all the wrong things I said. But the whole time I should have been thinking about other people in instead, not myself. Once I started doing that, I was able to make friends with everyone else. Oh, also I discovered that sometimes I'm a better communicator, I'm better communicator when I take the time to write rather than speak. It's so strange the way things turn out. It's so far different from anything I have ever would have expected. But I'm happy. I suppose we don't always know what we really need. Oh my gosh. You're so cute that I'm going to throw up. Okay, please don't do, don't do that, Sayori. Besides, I'm not cute. <coughs> hey, isn't that my line? Oh. Well, for me, it's actually true, so... What are you saying? Nothing. I finished my part so somebody else took the door. My heart. They really take some deep breaths. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll go. Yuri, I can't believe you were complaining about doing this and still went before me. What a show off. I was just following up on Sayori. It was the easiest way to go, get it over with. Besides, you left out the most important thing that you get out of this club. I did? Yeah, a regular supply of your favorite cupcakes. Oh no, I forgot that the two. I'm a traitor to the Cupcake Queen. <laughs> cupcake Queen? <laughs> we shall bow down to the Cupcake Queen. <laughs> give give Natsuki literally a, a crown with a cupcake on top and just hail to the Cupcake Queen. Hail to the Cupcake Queen. <laughs> Neither of you have forgiven. Neither of you are forgiven. Looks like only Monica will be getting cupcakes next time. No! I can't eat that many cupcakes. <laughs> yeah, true. Only Yuri can. Hey. Well, anyway, I'm just putting off talking. It's kind of hard to talk about this stuff. But I guess what it comes down to is that I'm in a much better place mentally than I was when I first joined. And that's because everyone helped me realize that I had some really 
toxic friendships going on outside the club. Also honestly a really painful thing to go through. Having to cut them out, it still hurts to think about it. I'm sorry Notsuki. It's fine, I knew it was for the best and I was right. I guess for me, it's all about feelings. I was only ever ridiculed, ridiculed for having feelings, so I thought the right thing to do was to just ignore them. It took me a real long time to realize that it's not really how things are supposed to work. And I guess that's thanks to everyone who took the time to respect my feelings, even when I was being like the biggest jerk. I'm really sorry for being such a jerk to everyone. Oh, it was really the worst. Natsuki's voice shooks a little. We love you, Natsuki. I just hate that I was like that. Everyone did so much for me, and I could never do anything in return. That's not true. Natsuki, you've done a lot more than you think. This cup really wouldn't have been the same without you. I mean that. Remember how judgmental I was when you first showed up? It was like I couldn't accept anything other than my own idea of what a literature club was supposed to be. Apparently that was more important to me than the opportunity to bring you some happiness. You really thought, thought me that anything that makes someone happy is worthy of respect. You even inspired me to start playing piano. That's something that means a whole lot to me. So there's no need to put my, yourself down. Okay. Aski wipes her eyes. You helped me a lot too. It's so much fun to have you around. And you helped me become a better person. Having a problem doesn't make you needy or inconvenient. It means that there's something that needs to be better for you. And you always deserve that. I agree. Seeing us have some of the same struggles made me a better person as well. I wouldn't want to change anything about our time here. I don't think any of us would. I'm sorry I got all dramatic again. That's all I wanted to say, so Monica cannot go now. Doesn't need, there's no need to apologize. It was something I wanted to talk about anyway, because it made a big difference for me. I was always such a strict perfectionist, who never took enough time to believe in the best of our other people. But everyone kept proving me wrong. I made this mistake multiple times, thinking that my way was the best for everyone, or thinking that I was needed to solve other people's problems. But I think being a leader means that you have to acknowledge that you're not perfect and that the best thing you can do is to help guide people rather than to do everything for them. We are all good people. We are all equals. Roll credits! I think that's the most important thing I've gotten out of the club. Realizing what that really means. So, you, Sayori, what are you doing? I just thought that we should be writing some of these things down. Things about the club that are available. 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 Available to us. With a piece of chalk in her hand, Sayori writes the word trust on the chalkboard. This is because you showed me that I could trust you with everything about me, not just my good side. Then here Yuri takes a piece of chalk as well. She writes, understanding. I, I owe a lot of gratitude to everyone who took their time to understand me, even though it was difficult for me to express myself. Hmm. In that case, Monica takes a piece of chalk as well and writes the word, respect. I always thought I was respectful, a respectful person, but it took the club for me to realize that there was more to it than I thought, and I'm a better person because of it. I have another one. There are your rights balance. Sometimes people want different things out of friendship, or they need time before they are really ready to become close. So it's important to keep things balanced between you and the other person. That reminds me. Your rights reflection. I've always been reflec a reflective person, but most of it has been nothing more than hating myself for all the things I thought I did wrong. Once I started reflecting on other people, and not just myself, a lot of things changed for me. So I think that's the most important one for me. That's great, we have a whole list of things now. Suddenly everyone turns to look at Natsuki. Well, Everyone took uh, all the chalk. Don't look at me like that. Jeez. You could have just asked. 
Or again, her a piece of chalk to Natsuki. Then Natsuki decides and writes self-love. I don't know how far I've gotten with it yet, but it feels like things are at least on the right track. So, there. That's my contribution. Together, everyone stares at the words on the board. Wasn't this close to piece to be about literature? It is. We still do a lot of literature. Friendship and literature. Yeah, you're right. Friendship and literature. Natsuki and Yuri gently nod as well. Hey, let's all take a picture together. We don't have one yet, right? Hey, you're right. Make sure you send it to me after. Wait, I can. Can I brush my hair first or something? Oh, you're fine. You already have the best hair out of all of us. Hmm. Everyone, get to together. I can fit you all in. Okay. Okay, everyone, ready? And click! I'm really glad we talked about this stuff. It's easy to forget how far we've come with only four members. Yeah. I have so many happy thoughts right now. I'm getting some really good inspiration for a poem. You know, I felt the same way. I kinda want to get some writing done. Me too. I think I would like that as well. Everyone's looking at me again. I'll do it too, but I might not feel like sharing it. That's okay. The four members of the literature club disperse and return to their desks, each equipping themselves with a pen. Natsuki and Yuri give each other a quick glance and then start writing immediately. Sayori stretches then does the same, but Mika is left tapping her pen against the paper unsure of where to start. Just move your hand, Mika must to herself. Write the way into your heart. A mind full of thoughts, memories, and inspiration, Monica navigates past her mental barriers and begins to write. It doesn't matter what, just that it's something new. <laughs> 